Any hoodly, looks like I've got a bit of investigating to do. <laughs> Value price shoes. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Hey, oh, that will come in handy. I'll take this to Katya for Doc. Exactly what the doctor order, and by doctor I mean Katya. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Bingo! Things wrap, wrap themselves up in a nice little bundle. Well, anyway, let's go give this to Katya first. <laughs> nice little animation, making Lee have a little stretch then. Oh, it's been a long day of nearly dying. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Well, she better remember all this stuff I've been doing for her. It's time to get my investigator gone. What do we have behind door number one? A switch. Oh, there's only one way to find out what it does. Boop. Nothing. Nah. Eh. It was worth a shot, I guess. Door number two. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, that's better. This is what more I'm talking about. We have a spike remover, we have a spanner, and we have a monkey wrench. Well, that does like seem like it would be something that would be useful for a train, but then I also like the Foo Fight song, Monkey Wrench, so... You can be my monkey wrench. Dooby 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 doo. <laughs> I've really got to stop singing while I'm doing these walkthroughs. Ending number three. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. Zip. Nada. A big goose egg. And door number four. Dang it. Did they really have to include those last two doors? I suppose it just increases the immersion into the game. Monkey wrench, pistol. I'm not wasting my ammo. Monkey wrench. You can be my monkey wrench. <laughs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. He just. He looks just like David, that uh, Ben's teacher. How do you get here? <laughs> obviously with a caved-in head, though. Think this guy came back. Christ. It's normally what happens when you smash your face against the a window. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? 
I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Yeah, we do have that problem about duck, though. I wouldn't mind plowing through some walkers. That's the spirit. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Oh, I think Ben wanted to play around in the train. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Hey, kid. What's up? So, it's time to get the awkward conversations out of the way. I hope it's alright I chose to keep Lily with us. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Turning over a new leaf, huh? I'm just doing what I can. It's fine for now, but we have to deal with it eventually. You want to talk about Duck? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'm <laughs> pretty certain Duck's a little bit worried. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys, we can figure it out. I'm a smart guy, I'm sure I can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. Not too sure about you though, Kenny. Uh, I just want to see, ooh, anything out front? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. I didn't come down here last time I played this. That <laughs> scared the hell out of me. Ooh, animal crackers. He's been in there good. I thought those things were designed to save lives. This door's gonna hurt. Yep, I'm not wasting ammo shooting this guy. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Boom, baby! <laughs> oh, his jaw's hanging off. <laughs> he looks like something from Abe's Odyssey. Fantastic. Do not bite my crutch. Thank you for the animal crackers, my friend. I will be going now. <laughs> First time I played this, I uh, I didn't go out here right at the very start. I never did, not until later. So, <laughs> that actually scared the hell out of me. I didn't do that last time, that's awesome. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. I like how I can play this game a second time around and find new stuff that I didn't find last time. That's actually made me really happy. Oh, I, didn't, I wasn't even aware I could walk down here. Oh, fantastic. Any hoodlou. I need to get back in that cabin. Ooh. Think your sandwiches have gone off there. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. <laughs> Foreshadowing from Clementine. I see how where this one's going. All right, Clementine, you need to show me that old leaf rubbing thing you were you were doing earlier. Boom, 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 boom. See, I'll be solving this so much quicker if I had duck by my side helping me. Investigator Lee. See, would I, was I able to actually get down here? See, I had no idea. <laughs> Enjoys the playing the game twice in a row, eh? We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Oh, are you taking a digger that's there? Oh, can't I give Clementine the crackers? Fine. Here. 
I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. <laughs> and that was just yesterday. <laughs> Alright, Clementine, wanna remind me about the leaf rubbins? There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Mm-hmm, <laughs> see? Foreshadowing is obvious. Mentioning the leaves, mentioning the paper, trying to remind us about what happened earlier. Couldn't be more obvious. Let's chat to Lily first, though. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? Well, you kind of brought it on yourself there, Lily. Well, that was awkward. I'll be off now. Ooh, that was a weird camera angle, too. I think I was more interested in the banana milkshake there. I'm leaving. I'm gonna stop you. No, you're not. I'm not going to hurt you. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. I wonder what happens if you actually say okay. No way. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Who untied her hands? Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! <laughs> oh! Come back here, Shoot you crazy Carly bitch. in the face and then you leave us on the side of the road. Fuck! Stop! Well, mind, but she didn't even want the RV in the first place. Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Yeah, that was a perfectly good working boxcar back there, and we just saw someone Duffy's sleeping still in it. Sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Yeah, stop snapping at me. I didn't even say anything. Okay, why can't I move? There we go. <laughs> well, the game had glitched out for a second there. <laughs> Anywho, let's get our leaf rubbing on. Bet mine will be better than yours, Clementine. Have a competition to see who can leaf rub the quickest. Hey, Ken. What's up? I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. All right, then. Yep. I'm going to go doodle. You have fun. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Alright, what do we have first? Panel number six. Down, down, up, up. Up, down, up. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Number six. Down, down. Up. Up. Up, down, up, was it? Come on, get it right first time. Not that one. Damn it! <laughs> if you tried using your right hand, Lee, you might actually get it. Hi oh Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Uh, how do I get my piece of paper back up? There we go. So, left and down. 
do 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 left and down now we're talking oh he's talking he's walking now let's see if we can get this mother going door number one door number two door number three door number four Hmm. So nine left, then nine right. <laughs> Low oil. I'd pay attention to that. We have liftoff. Holy shit! We're golden. Yeah, we are golden. Feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Oh, I'm so excited I could crap my pants. It's all yours. <laughs> we should really get Ben up here. That's the throttle. Damn it. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Wait, say one, if we weren't stuck, were we just gonna drive off and leave everyone? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so that's how he was gonna deal with Duck. He was just gonna leave him. Let's go in there, Kenny. I'm just working on the railroad. There's actually a song that goes like that. I can't remember how it goes now. Looks like you'll get that pin out. Mm hmm. I'm guessing that's what the throttle just was. Shit. Broken. I think the throttle just unstuck it. Boom! Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Yeah, bit of a personal thing to shout out. <laughs> you touch any of my stuff? Name Scruffy, janitor. <laughs> Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Well, he's a quick mover. He must be a real lovable guy if they've got to know him already. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Well, if you're going to treat him like a kid, he's going to act like a kid. Don't get angry at him, Lee. You... Have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. <laughs> you met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> you met Kenny as well? Man, he's, he's a quick mover. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. <laughs> yeah, our numbers are dwindling down a bit. We could actually use a little bit of extra manpower. 
and he's got a guitar. Fantastic. But that's a tune, Chucky boy. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Chuck, if you're roofing all the children, <laughs> don't expect us to come find you when you wake up on the rooftop in Las Vegas. I'm just warning you. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I wanted to carry on a conversation now, actually. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Okie dokie, maybe not. I thought there was more conversation options there. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Yeah, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar is safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? <laughs> He's got a point, Lee. He was the one who's got it started in the first place. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Well, that's a good way to make a problem go away. Can you just ignore it? Has your mustache taught you anything? She definitely hasn't taught you how to be a man. <laughs> Apparently hasn't taught you... How to make a train go either. 